So I turned the television on and it was the hologram singer. And then this commercial came on, seniors wanted. <laughs> right there on the television. No one ever wanted me before. Well, the writing, you know, the writing. Um, it was sent to me and um, my first reaction is, oh, that sounds like a lot of hard work. <laughs> um, and then I read it and, uh, and it was just such beautiful, sensitive, understanding writing of a, of a woman that I'm, I'm my assumption, and I didn't really take note of the name of the writer. I just read it, you know, and then I saw a male name <laughs> next to the writing. I thought, wow, that's interesting. It was because I felt like the kind of person that if you gave everyone on earth a number at the deli counter, every single person, there wouldn't be one left for me. Well, it is a monologue, absolutely. I mean, um, there is no reason why a monologue can't be filmic, you know, and it is filmic. You know, all of us, when you think about it, we all live in a monologue, don't we? Um, you know, the monologue of our brains that is constantly moving. I, I don't know about you, but when I'm out amongst people and you know that the way your brain is constantly moving, talking to itself, you know, thinking, observing, whatever it does, um, everybody else's brains are doing exactly the same thing. So we're all constantly in our own monologue in, in reality. You know, I'm wondering without giving too much away, you know, when you think back over your life, you know, what's one era that you would like to go back to? You know, there is no going back. There is no revisiting. We're all on a one way, you know, forward motion track, every single person on the planet. We will all face the end of our lives, every single one of us at some point. Um, and there is no going back on that journey. And I guess coming to the understanding of that is, is a part of what life's all about.